Hey YouTube, uh, this is part four of Admiral Olga Kurganova. I really loused up her face and her eyes. So I put her into some rubbing alcohol, uh, 91%. I saw, I don't know if I saw this or when I was at a uh, convention, Mr. Justin from Secret Weapon Miniatures, I mentioned a lot about him. I'm in the same kind of area he is in and I run into him on occasion. It's not like I'm friends with him or anything. He's a really good guy. but. Um, I run into him occasion and uh, you know when we get some uh, information off someone get as much as you can. I think I overheard him talking about this. I think this is where I got it from. About just using plain alcohol to strip your miniatures down. You don't need to use any kind of weird chemicals or anything like that. Uh, I'm not sure if you use like a spray can varnish this would work. Uh, she has just been um, surface primer with Vallejo surface prime primer. Does that make sense? And then just using standard uh, Vallejos and Game Workshop and Reaper uh, mini um, uh, acrylic paints. So um, I'm just taking her out right now. She's been in there like two hours, and basically she looks stripped. And I'm just taking a. Uh, this is a denture brush. This is a, it's a, a stiffer brush than a toothbrush, and this is taking it down to bare metal, no problem. This is awesome. And actually, it's not affecting uh, her arm or cigarette hand right here. I don't know how bad the lighting is here. I'm in my kitchen right now. That's done with super glue and that is uh, fixed. And this is great, look at this. She's down to bare metal. See the glistening off that and she's uh, done. You can reprime her, get her ready to go again. Um, I haven't tried this on a plastic miniature but I don't see why it wouldn't work on the one. Uh, maybe I'll try one in the future and <clears throat> get it done. I'm at my sink, I don't even see anything. Oh, let's see where we are. Then I'm running the water over her to get me with a dish brush. Yeah, a denture brush, I really recommend this. If you go to a, uh, your probably your local grocery store or pharmacy, it's got a really stiffness to it. A lot of the new toothbrushes are, are so soft, they won't do anything. And I do have a toothbrush too, but I like using this thing. It is. And also, I like this brush is another thing as when you're doing chipping effects, when you're using AK Interactive or using the hairspray method, these brushes are really good. They hold a little bit of moisture in them, but they got stiffness to it. You see it doesn't bend or give. It's got a really uh, good um, thing to it, especially if you get fingernail paint. I've done that before too. I don't have any right now, but this is great for uh, getting the paint out of your fingernails too. It's not going to make you bleed or anything, but it's stiff enough to uh, take care of that. So there's uh, Miss Kurganova ready for a new paint job. And um, we'll leave this at that. So let's be part four. Um, I might not start up on her again. I think I want to get my orc army built up. You saw that I had those, um, you, you've seen my uh, blood axe battle wagon. I did, I think I have 22 boys or 21 boys plus a knob. Uh, Ard Shooter Boys in one of my previous videos. They've been sitting there half done. I think I'm gonna go through those. I don't have to, they're not competition, they're gonna be tabletop standard, you know, just to make them look cool. And then go from there and start building up an army that I can start playing. And I wanna go to my local, uh, or not my local, but it's about 30 miles from here. Uh, game store, Great Escape Games. Um, big store, a lot of, uh, they have tournaments there and great seminars and stuff. A really good uh, way to stay in, tact, in touch with a, a community. It was sent on YouTube and uh, Facebook. So as usual, thank you for joining me. We'll be back in another video. I think I got a package in the mail I want to open up for everyone. And I will see everyone in the next video. Thanks.